y, what is the value of x, given that you have 8 to the power of s minus 6x equals 0. Then let's have it to be solution. So from here we have 8 to the power of s to be equals 6x by taking this one to the other side. Then let's divide two by 8 to the power of x. So from here, this we cancel this. We have 1 to be equals 6x divided by 8 to the power of x. So let's, let's divide this one by 6. Here will be 6. So we have it to be 1 divided by 6 equals this. We cancel this. We are going to have x divided by 8 to the power of x. But mind you that when we have 1 divided by 8 to the power of n equals 8 to the power of minus n. So let's apply it to this one. So we are going to have 1 divided by 6. This will be x multiplied by 8 to the power of minus x. Then let's make sure that this negative here, we also have it here. So meaning that we can multiply through by minus 1. So when we multiply through by minus 1, here will be minus 1 multiplied by this. 1 divided by 6. Here will be minus 1 multiplied by this. x multiplied by 8 to the power of minus x. So here will be minus 1 divided by 6 equals here will be minus x multiplied by 8 to the power of minus x. So having done this one, recall that when we have e to the power of ln of a, this will give you back your a. Likewise, happen to when we have e to the power of ln of 8, this will give you back your 8. So let's apply it here. Here will be minus 1 divided by 6 equals minus x e to the power of ln of 8. We play this 8 by this one. Then we close it to the power of minus x. So from here we have here to be 1 divided minus 1 divided by 6 equals minus x multiplied by this. We multiply by this. We can have here to be minus x multiplied by ln of 8. So we also want to make sure that this power equivalent to this space here. But mind you that we have minus 8, sorry, ln of 8 here. We didn't have it here. So let's multiply through by ln of 8. When we also multiply through by ln of 8, so here would be minus ln of 8 divided by 6 equals this. We have here to be minus x ln of 8 e to the power of minus x ln of 8. You can see that the base and the power are the same. There's negative here, there's negative. Okay? Let's do some manipulation here too. From this 6, recall that we can have 6 to be the product of 2 times 3. So we can have it here to be minus ln of 8 divided by 2 times 3, which equals minus x ln of 8 multiplied by e to the power of minus x ln of 8. So from here, we can have this, this as minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by minus 1 over 3 multiplied by ln of 8, which equals minus x ln of 8 multiplied by e to the power of minus x ln of 8. So this, we can take it back to the power because when we have a, or when we have 1 divided by n multiplied by ln of a, this can be equals as ln of a to the power of 1 divided by to the power of ln of a to the power of 1 divided by n. So we apply it to this one. So here will be minus 1 over 2, then ln of 8 to the power of 1 divided by 3 equals minus x ln of 8 multiplied by e to the power of x ln of 8. So from here, we have it to be minus 1 divided by 2 ln of this equivalent to as cube root of 8 equals minus x ln of 8 e to the power of minus x ln of 8. 
So recall that the cube root of 8 always equals as when we have the cube root of 2 to the power of 3, we give us 8. This we cancel this, so this equals 2. So from here, we have this here to be 2, and we are going to have minus 1 divided by 2, ln of 2. Will be equals minus x, ln of 8, multiplied by e to the power of minus x, ln of 8. So we can also simplify this as 1 over 2, multiplied by minus 1, multiplied by ln of 2, equals minus x, ln of 8, multiply by e to the power of x, ln of 8. So we can take this negative back to this power. So here will be 1 over 2, multiplied by ln of 2 to the power of minus 1, equals minus x, ln of 8, multiplied by e to the power of minus x, ln of 8. This, when we have 2 to the power of minus 1, equals 1 divided by 2. So from here, we have 1 over 2, ln of. From here, we are going to have it to be 1 divided by 2, then equals minus x, ln of 8, to the power, multiply by e to the power of minus x, ln of 8. Recall from the relationship that when we have e to the power of ln of a, equals a, let's apply it to this. When we have e to the power of ln of 1 divided by 2, equals 1 divided by 2. From here, we are going to have, let's write this one first. We have ln of 1 divided by 2 multiplied by this. We replace this one with this. We have e to the power of ln of 1 divided by 2. You can see that the base of this equal to this power of this one. Likewise, happen to this, minus x, ln of 8, the base equals to the power minus x, ln of 8. Then we want to introduce something we call lambda w function that says that when we have y to be equals alpha, alpha is a constant multiplied by e, it's also a constant to the power of alpha, another constant. Then having known this one, the lambda, w, the lambda w function now says when we have the lambda w function of y, this y, that will be equals the lambda w function of alpha multiplied by e to the power of alpha, that the output will be equals alpha. So, meaning that the lambda w function of alpha multiplied by e to the power of alpha, the output will be equals alpha, either of the one. And the reason is that so far, the base and the power are the same. The output will be equals alpha. So let's introduce that one to the left and the right hand side of this expression. So we are going to have the W Lambert function of ln of 1 divided by 2 multiplied by e to the power of ln of 1 divided by 2. The left, also at the right, we have minus x ln of 8 multiplied by e to the power of minus x ln of 8. So far, the base and the power are the same. The output will be either of this. So far, the base and the power are the same. The output will be either of this one. So likewise happen to this one, that we are going to have it to be ln of 1 divided by 2 will be equals minus x ln of 8. Now, from here, we can have this to be ln of 2 to the power of minus 1. From here, this will be minus x, we have ln of 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So we have here to be 2 to the power of 3. And this can come down to base to be minus 1, ln of 2. Because this can come down to base to be here will be minus 3s, ln of 2. When this ln of 2 cancelled out, we have here to be minus 1 equals minus 3x. So we have this to be cancelled out minus we have 1 to be equals 3x and so we have x from here to be 1 divided by 3 to be the value of x so if you are new here and find this video interesting don't forget to share like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel for more math tutorial videos then let us now check so when s equals 1 divided by 3 so from here we have 8 to the power of 1 divided by 3 
minus 6 into 1 divided by 3 can then give us 0. This will be cube root of 8. This will be 3 here, 1. 3 here will be 2. As 2 can it be equals 0. So this will be cube root of 2 to the power of 3. And as 2 can it be equals 0. So this we cancel this. We have 2. This 2 minus this equals 0. So 0 equals 0. So this shows that x equals 1 divided by 3 satisfy the problem. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more master tutorial videos.